learning in Parshas Balotcha, we're learning about the man, the mana. Okay, when the Jews were in the desert, God did this amazing miracle. He gave them mana. I don't know where the word mana comes from, but it's man. In the Hebrew, the Torah is called man. <clears throat> so the Rebbe says this man <clears throat> was, was uh, how do you call it, selective. For the bad people, the man fell far outside of the camp. They couldn't find it in the camp. The man felt the man fell far, fell far from the camp, and also it was in the form of like grain. So they had to grind it up, and they had to knead it and make dough and bake it. By the average Jews, the man was found right outside of the camp. So they had to go a little bit outside, and it was found in the form of dough. So they had to take it inside. All they had to do was bake it. And by the tzaddikim, it says the man fell right outside of their door, and it was already made. It was already made. Okay. So then the Rebbe says, <clears throat> this man, after all, was pure food. It didn't have any waste in it. No waste products in it whatsoever. It was totally absorbed into the body. And this is what nourished the Jews for the 40 years that they were in the desert. And also before they received the Torah, they ate man. So it says this man had some effect on them. It was pure, it was godly, it was a miracle. They didn't have any connection to making it. They saw clearly that it was from the hand of God. It fell every, right in the morning they woke up, there it was. And so this fact that it was pure godliness, it had an effect on them. Even the evil people, it had an effect on them to some degree. And the Rebbe says, how? Because it made them somehow or other connected to the Torah. Because that's what the Torah is also. The Torah is purely from God, and it's totally pure. And it's in this world. All right, now we're on chapter Gimel. Gimel, okay? Like them. Okay. It, 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 this is it, yes. Can I make this? Yeah, I can yeah good okay good uh, I'll just have to one second let me just move this a little bit I'll have to get closer to it I'll get close there we go good 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 thank you very much and I will move my camera good 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 yes there it is all right all right let's see what happens over here one second here can i make this bigger no how do i make it bigger uh this is too small here no 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 I, I, i'm sorry but it's just too small i can't see it um. I, on, I, my screen, on my screen, it's very large. Is it? And on mine, it's not. And I don't know how to make it. Let's see, let's see. How are you looking? Yeah, it's, I guess it's what your view is like. I, I see. Oh, here, here, one second. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, good. Light then, according to this, that it will be understood what it says in the Sefer Etim. There's a book which is called Sefer Etim, the, the Book of Times. In the name of Rabbi Sadia Goon. As Bashasman Gefinzich Shabbos in a Derek Rechoko or in a Vitus, a time that a person is found in some faraway place, or when based nit, you don't know which parsha to read to read on the Shabbos. Right? Your 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 ship gets uh, shipwrecked, and you, you don't know which what day it is and what date it is, and you have a safer Torah. Zalman Lane and Parsha Zaman. You don't know what it is. You don't know is it summer, is it winter? You don't know how long you've been asleep. Whatever. Anyway, there you are with the Sefer Torah. You have no idea what to read. According to this one opinion, you should read this week's portion because it talks about the man. 
of all the portions of the week. Some people say is the Tom because the reason this Parsha of Man, this Parsha of Man, Nemra was said on Shabbos. This because some people say that God gave over this commandment of eating the man on Shabbos. Therefore, if you don't know where you are, and you don't know what portion to read, portion to read from the Torah, read the portion about the man. Says the Rebbe, is this understandable? First of all, the first glance, Zayman Dach Faran, Kama Parshas, there are many Parshas from the Torah. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay. There are many Parshas from the Torah, Velchazayin and Gazuk, Kavorn, Shabbos. A lot of se- sections of the Torah were said on Shabbos. The Kuli Alma, but Shabbos needs the Torah. The Ten Commandments were given on Shabbos. Ken Mendach, Lenin, the Esaras of Divros. Therefore, it should be that if you have a doubt what to read, read the Ten Commandments. That's, that's more essential than the, the man. What is their Tom? Why would Rabbi Sadia go and say that you should read the Parsha of the Man, the Mana? Like we said before, as their hot, their man, the man had not, Eingevaren, Zion, Mila, it did not lose its godly qualities. A filu vener is a rupkakuma, and even when it came down, Zion and Nidrik are very, very low. And for so it's understood, especially Shaykhus, that it's specially relevant from Parsha Zaman to Shabbos. Why? Because Shabbos is the same thing. Shabbos hat in Zich, the Zelbet Chuna, Shabbos has the same quality. Me is, se is an Inyan, Nalibiosa. Shabbos is a very, very high thing. It's purely for God, it's holy. And was Oich Kuma Diklamat, and even when it comes down below, it remains in its essential, <coughs> its essential purity. How do we see this? One second. Eshtet, uh, because it says, It says that it was finished, the heavens and the earth and all of their hosts. The word Vayechulu means also to expire, to go up. Kalot nefesh. And then Shabbos, Shtein, Shmayim, Ve'oretz, with Kalot Tzavam, and, and in Shabbos, the heavens and the earth and all the hosts of the heavens and the earth, the Gan Sabri, the whole entire creation, in a kilion, in a longing, in an elevation to the Ebersh, to the, to the Creator. Vayechulu is from the language of kilion, is oiskin, to go out of itself. Right? Like a person sees a, a lot of money, it could be his, he wants. The same thing is, is on Shabbos, the whole world wants God. Mentas aber need. This doesn't mean as is velch ois It doesn't mean that the world stops existing, nor as the vel. But the world is viz. The world is like it is. Vert nisala, but it becomes more meaningful. Der hoiben in kalion. The world becomes a little bit more, so we say, transparent. You see godliness. And the world, you see, there's a longing in the world for a source. Therefore, therefore, is there din? The law is Shabbos, mitzvah, la'ungo, but Michael, that's for it, that's a mitzvah. Why? And Shabbos, it's a mitzvah to get pleasure from eating and drinking. As they're tiny, that the pleasure, vos, ayid, which a Jew has on the eating and the drinking of Shabbos, when Shabbos is nitnor the achila, not only the eating and the drinking, nor the tainuk, but the pleasure that it gets from the food and the drink. Verta mitzvah becomes a mitzvah. It says that the eating of Shabbos is like the prayer, praying of the rest of the week. In the weekdays, darf men essen und trinken, nor oifazoi, feel, vi feel, se is noitik baran kium. In the weekdays, a person should eat only as much as he needs for his own. Existence. How do I go to the next page? How do I do it? There is certainly a way, but I don't know what it is. How do you go to the next page? One second. Is there a pointer? Is there a somewhere? Uh, can someone help me? Over there? I don't know. Huh? All right. Oh, oh, there we go. Very good. Thank you. 
aguf. On oich dan, also there, we have to, in the, in the weekdays, you eat as much as the body needs. <clears throat> but Shabbos is holy. Shabbos is something like the man. It comes down into this physical world, and it re still retains its holiness. Nor, on, on the weekdays, you should eat only what you need for your health, and not for the pleasure that you get from it. Nor, tandam, mitzad achrach, you eat because you need to eat. Vile, they're tainu, because the pleasure that you get from eating makes a person, how do you say, crass, thick, which is not the case to eating on Shabbos. When nitnor was the tainu, not only the pleasure is not, doesn't make a person, of course, not to overdo it, doesn't make a person, how do you say, crass and, and insensitive, like it says, perish chageikem, but no perish shabbateichem. It says that the, the waste of your holidays will be spread on your faces if you don't invite guests, it says. But the waste of not Shabbos. Shabbos is the pleasure itself is a commandment. Varum, their or because the light of Shabbos, drink the durach, the, the gansa bria, because it, it, it permeates, the light of Shabbos permeates the whole entire creation. But as a few, even it says that a Russia gomer, even a complete evil person, will not lie on Shabbos. It's hard for even a biggest liar to lie on Shabbos. Is dach nit, that's what it says in the Gomorrah. Is dach nit der taich, it doesn't mean that Shabbos tut their tshuva. It doesn't mean that he stops being an evil person. It means it has some little effect on him, like we said about the man, when er vert ois Russia, that the, the, the Russia on Shabbos is no longer an, a bad person. He's not a liar anymore. He is a liar. But da rad zich, Vegan Azoy was bleeped there, Zelber V. Nechten. He's the same liar and the same cheater as he was yesterday. But when Shabbos comes along from Desveg, and nevertheless, Zok there, Shabbos Nitkan Sheker. On Shabbos, it's hard for him to lie. That's what the Gemara says. Well, there or from Shabbos, because the light of Shabbos, Nemt Durech, Oich der Tachton Biosef. Why does a person lie? Why does he cheat? Because he wants to get something from someone. He wants to get attention. He wants to get money. He wants to get something. He wants to get. When God reveals Himself, so a person realizes, listen, maybe I don't need those things so much. Maybe I can get these things in an honest way. You know, God will give it to me. God provides for everything. God will provide for me. Maybe I don't have to tell a lie. All of a sudden, he feels God more. On the weekdays, he feels alone. It's me against everybody. All means are permissible, right? Uh, no holds barred. I'm against the world. I got to get them before they get me. I'm alone. But on Shabbos, he feels, one second, it's God's world. It's not mine. Right? So on Shabbos, it has an effect on him. This is the same thing as the man. When the reaper, therefore, therefore, when a person doesn't know what to read, which portion to read on Shabbos, is men darf lenin, and Shabbos is linked men, parshas aman. Therefore, we learn, we read in the Torah, the section of the mana. Allah shachos un velt, because all of the blessings from God they come to create the world and enliven the world and provide for the world. Verin dach nimshach during Torah. It all comes from the Torah. It was therefore, which therefore, bechdei tzu oiftan, in order to make, invelt the world, the inyan, this whole idea of, one second, oh, from Shabbos, Under mata zol veren durch drungen, with the or from Shabbos in order to make that there should be Shabbos and the world should be filled with Shabbos, is oib men vase nit their inyan the Torah. If you don't know what it is on what Shabbos is, where where does Shabbos come from? It's in the Torah. Vos is miuchad for them to their Shabbos. What's special about Shabbos is darv men lane and the klaliyus dika parsha. Therefore, you have to read the, spe the general portion of the Torah, which talks about this whole same topic as the Shabbos, namely man. Why man? Because man, while oich der man, because also the man in its quality, atzmi is hadar der grechen, biz, it reaches, the man reaches until the nidris madregas, man also, the man also came to the lowest levels. Even the evil people, it said. They had to go outside and they had to grind it, but they ate man. 
Aber in the Asaras divorce, but in the Ten Commandments, Aber an Andra portion, another portion from their Torah, Chaj Vizay Zayar Hoich, even though the other things are high on the Ten Commandments, the Shabbos, for instance, is as based, Vezen Zaynit Oiv Azoifil, this does not indicate so much Oiv Zer Arop Komen coming down the Malasan Kamo that they are Lamata Mata. All the other portions of the Torah don't so show so much how that godliness came into the physical world and still retained its godliness. Nothing like the man. The man really indicates that. Even the Torah, the way it, the story in the Torah, right? Even in the Torah, the Jews got the Torah. We see 40 days later, 40, 40 days later, they, they, they went against it. They built an idol, the worst thing possible. How could they do it? And it says that they did the other sins also. That there was murder there and licentiousness and all the other things. But man, everyone ate the man and everyone had a benefit from the man. So the man was something that was pure godliness and it came down into this physical world and retained its exact same godliness. It didn't change. And not only that, it, it didn't change, but it changed the people who ate it. And that really is the whole essence of what the Torah is about, what it's supposed to be. That the Torah is pure godliness coming into the world, and it's supposed to change everyone who reads it, everyone who learns it. Like we learned in the Mimer, that the Torah is the thing that's going to redeem, it says, the, according to the Alter Rebbe, that will redeem the Tzion, the Jewish people, from exile. Okay, let us stop here. We'll continue tomorrow. We'll finish this.